What's up YouTube, hello fellow questers. This is Artem from Germany featuring Marvel Puzzle Quest. Today's video is a little advice to beginners and an introduction to the game, especially to the materials we have in Marvel Puzzle Quest. If you're wondering, I actually wanted to get a wizard hat to seem like a scholar, but unfortunately I don't have one. So I had to take my pirate hat, my Captain Morgan one. Yay! <laughs> so Captain Artem, Captain Pirate Captain Artem, <laughs> here to address some issues or to be your teacher for today if you're new to Marvel Puzzle Quest. If you're a beginner, let's get right into this topic. So in the game we have three currencies or materials you could call them. It's ISO 8 or isotope 8, hero points and command points. You see them on the top right of the screen. You see the purple, it's the, the ISO, the hero points are the yellow symbol and the command points is the shaped star. And what do you do with those materials? So just to let you know, the ISO 8 or isotope 8 is a material that has something to do with the prologue mission of the game in which the dialogues between several characters tell you what uh, ISO 8 is about, that it is a material or resource meant to boost or strengthen your character, and that certain fractions are fighting over it. So let's get into purple ISO game-wise. What is it? Um, sorry. What do players need ISO 8 for? ISO 8 is m mainly used to level up your characters. Let me show it to you. So if I go to train, even though my version is in German, it's train. You see that there is a yellow arrow pointing upwards on my characters so I can increase their levels. Let's get to a character I wanted to increase levels, Peggy Carter. I recently got a another cover for her. In my other video I will explain what covers and characters are and rarity. So you can see I can up her from 229 to 250. In order to get to that level I need 74,327 ISO. I don't have as much so I'll get some levels. As you can see with leveling up HP in will increase and also damage and tiles. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. No, damage in tiles increases only with covers. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so you generally have the gist out of what you use when you're, or what, uh, how ISO is used. There used to be a time when you could use ISO to pull tokens. Let's move this here. So there used to be a time when you could pull standard tokens with ISO, but they changed it. It's no longer available, I think, since um, May 2017. No, no, even earlier. So even in 2016, it was already changed that you could not pull additional standard tokens with 500 ISO. I don't remember the correct date, so sorry about that. But yeah, how can you earn ISO? You earn ISO if you play in PvP, PvE events, if you play Deadpools daily, you will get ISO. So like this mission, come on. If you win, you will get 500 ISO. Overall, you can win more ISO, the more conditions you fulfill and missions you accomplish, obviously. With the characters in the game, if you level them up and after leveling them up, champion them and get more tokens for those characters, you can collect ISO. So that's about ISO. Let's get into hero points. That's this one. By the way, you can also purchase ISO and hero points in-game for your uh, country's currency. In my case, that would be Euro. But I'm not going to do that. I want to achieve everything without spending and investing any real money into this game. It's up to you to do whatever you like. So I'm not trying to persuade you not to do that. 
it's everyone's decision. Back to hero points. What are hero points used for? Just like with ISO, you can acquire hero points by doing missions, by leveling up your characters after you have championed them. You can collect hero points in the PvE, PvP events, also in alliance events sometimes. You can purchase them, just like I told you, and what are they used for? So you can use them either for pulling tokens in some vaults, as you can see. So for four and five stars, you need command points, but I'll get to that later. Here in the Heroes for Hire store, that's a special store. Sometimes you can redeem your hero points and get some nice packages if you're in need of certain materials. As you can see, Gwenpool spent 3,600 points and you'll get a Gwenpool cover, some ISO command points and some heroic tokens. Is that heroic? Or am I confusing it right now? Uh, da, 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 da. No, that's not heroic. Yeah, and um, obviously what people try to spend hero points is um, increasing your roster capacity. So if you go to acquire another roster slot for another character you want to add in, you'll have to pay a certain amount of hero points. In my case, it's a thousand hero points. The hero points increase with how many slots you already have. So it used to be like 50, then it went up to 100, 200, 3, 4, 5, and at some point it stops at 1000. And the longer you have been playing this game, the easier it becomes to acquire hero points. So don't listen to people who tell you that acquiring hero points is a pain in the butt. Maybe in the beginning, but once you have a lot of characters, like myself, I only need three more characters and I have all of them in the game. You will see, yeah, you will face the problems of um, needing more ISO instead of needing hero points. You will hoard a lot of hero points. So those are the two factors of hero points. And in the beginning and the middle stages of your play of Marvel Puzzle Quest, I advise you not to spend hero points on pulling tokens. That is a mistake I did as a beginner and I learned from that mistake better save up those hero points and try to acquire as many character slots as you can so that's for hero points let's get to command points command points you cannot purchase them in the in-game store you get some if you purchase here either hero points or ISO but aside from that you only get command points either if you play the behemoth burrito in this Deadpool's daily mission which refreshes every 24 hours sorry my screen so every 24 hours you can get two command points if you have the required characters you need a two three and four star for that aside from that you get command points just like hero points and ISO if you play the events the PvE events and the PvP events you will get certain rewards if you acquire a number of points just to show you currently it's hearts of darkness you go to rewards and then you can see how many points will reward you with what you get points by fighting the enemies and winning those fights so there's some hero points a four star cover and some command points as well Command points are also achievable through leveling up your characters after you have championed them. Just to let you know, champion means once a character has 13 covers and hits his max level, you can spend some ISO on that character and you will have a champion character and can put, up, put, put in more covers into that character to level him further. That will also give you rewards, just to let you know. So you understand what I meant. Let's get into this. Let's go to my four stars. I could um, I could demonstrate it with any other rarity except one stars. So let's go to Rocket and Groot. So currently their level cap is at twenty uh, 
at 250 sorry <laughs> 250 and as you can see 12 out of 13 covers so i need one more cover for them to hit level cap of 270 and once that is done i can invest a certain amount of iso into them and give them the champion status and with champion status then their cover changes changes from gray to black or at least that bar which shows their rarities and stars and the level let's go to wolverine once that has happened i can show you what you'll get if you invest more covers of that character into your champion so you get a legendary token there you get command points iso more command points zero points and further 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 down the line until you hit the max level in the champion status that's always uh, 100 levels ahead and then you can change your character and start all over again so that is for how um, command points are achieve achievable in the game sometimes mpq or uh, d3go the publisher and owner of this game sometimes e3go hosts special events on their forum where you can also earn iso hero points command points if you do some stuff like subscribe to another marvel.com page or get an account there um, enter a lottery play some event or show a nice uh, picture of your favorite mpq moment so those three resources are what you need in order to succeed in the game I hope you liked the video. Please let me know in the comments if I left something out or if you did, didn't understand something. I will be sure to explain it to you one more time. This is what this video and the comment section is going to be. If you've liked the video, please leave a comment, leave a like. Share this video so beginners might understand what the resources are or the currencies. Subscribe to my channel for more content to come. I will do more videos with the pirate hat to inform new questers so they might get a better understanding. I already have some videos out on my YouTube channel where I give in which I give advice to beginners and advanced players. If you still have questions, interact with me on Twitter or in the comment section. I will answer them if I have the time and so thank you very much for the contribution and the support you have shown me so far i'm almost uh, at 100 subscribers and really proud of what i have accomplished so far and really appreciate the support you have shown me before i end this video a shout out to my buddies and fellow alliance members john l meteor mr mpq and kill power the first two also have youtube channels of their own and do mpq stuff as well while kill power is mainly on twitch and streams marvel puzzle quest there so thank you very much buddies for always mentioning me i i'm trying to do the same to support you and to increase your viewership and that's actually it for this video i hope you liked it keep on questing any questions sure be sure to ask sorry <laughs> be sure to ask them and expect other Ad uh, advice videos this week. I'm signing out. Have a great day. Bye.